Hey, it's Jamie from Gilbrook Farm, and I want to talk to you about how you can save money with a real simple trick, which is using a clothesline. I've been using a clothesline since I was a little kid. Uh, we always had a clothesline growing up, but when I got into my teens and my 20s, um, I just started using a dryer and kind of got out of the habit of using a clothesline, and it wasn't until we started going down this homesteading path that I asked Jeremy to build me this clothesline. Now, uh, through the years, I've done a lot of traveling, and of course, when traveling, um, I always tend to bring a, um, a clothesline rope with me, and I usually string that up um, and wash my clothes in the sink and then hang them up on a line. Um, you might have seen it in my uh, Nepal video, which is my a real SHTF situation. You might have seen it in that one. As, uh, as an earthquake was happening in the background. Um, but really, clotheslines are super simple to make, uh, super simple to do. You actually don't even need to have an actual clothesline. You can, uh, I've seen other channels like Weedem and Reap uses a fence, works perfectly. Um, there are other people that just have single ropes strung up and that works great for them. For me, I use a lot of heavy items. I, I tend to wash a lot of heavy items like blankets and quilts and things like that. Uh, so I asked Jeremy to build me um, a really nice clothesline and he built me the super industrial one and I'm gonna let him explain exactly what he did how he built it and how much money can save you by putting up your own clothesline and drying your clothes outdoors okay building a clothesline like this is pretty simple first thing you want to do is consider where you're going to put it um, you want it not necessarily in direct sunlight all day because that might fade your clothes some sunlight is good for the heat and the, and the drying effect uh, also consider trees overhead um, that could drop gunk onto your clothes so you may not want to do that so just kind of locate it in your yard where something like this you'll want 25 foot length this is a hundred feet of just the fabric fiber clothesline that uh, you know comes in hundred foot lengths so it's pretty inexpensive as far as that goes and to run four lines you'll want a 25 foot span between your posts this uses four four by four by eight foot pressure treated posts so you need four posts dig a two foot deep hole so that uh, when the post is in the ground you've got about six foot of height which gives you enough height to uh, hang clothes hang heavy things and have it you know it'll, it'll sag a little bit so you want it tall enough to keep your stuff off the ground but short enough so a short person can hang it so dig a two foot post Dig, dig a two foot post hole, sink your posts, straighten them up, level them. Uh, you can put concrete in if you want or just pack it real tight. I, I put concrete in here because I don't want these moving. Then you're going to sink two of your four posts, one in the here, one on the other end. You're going to take your third post and cut it into four equal pieces. And cut 45 degree angles. These are all two foot pieces. Cut 45 degree angles and bolt them to your post with 3 8 inch by two and a half inch lag bolts in each side and up through here. Your top pieces are your fourth post that you just cut in half into two four foot lengths. And I nicked off the end uh, with a 45 degree angle so that doesn't bang you in the head and cut your head open. And then I, in the center, cut a half inch deep channel to set onto the post so that it doesn't go this way. And then I just drove a, another lag bolt down and through there to hold it on. Now I build your posts. Okay, now you need four, once you've got your posts in, you want eight screw in eye thingies, uh, four on each side, and you can space them like a foot apart. And then you just tie your one length of clothesline to an eye and run it down and through the second eye and back and just keep doing that. It's all one piece. So this, this is the first line, comes through your eye, into the second eye, back up that way. And it's all one piece. So you start at that end and you end at that end. And this is on a slope. But because they're both in the same depth of hole, it doesn't matter. It's the same height, head height. And then we have this clothesline 
tightener gadget thingy that we got on Amazon um, that allows you to like loosen this stretch your your line and then let it go and it tightens it and then we have our extra here so that as over time as this kind of gets saggy and stretches we can keep retightening and, and wrap that up so I figure I wash clothes probably about three or four times a week and based on um, Jeremy has this little device that you plug into your outlet that can measure how much electricity you're using and how much that costs in, in wattage. And we were figuring um, by turning off the dryer and using the clothesline, we're saving approximately $25 per month. And that's based on my usage, which is about uh, using probably about uh, the dryer about three to four times per week. Um, over the course of a year, that's about $300. And that can save you a lot of money. Now you obviously do not need to build something as extravagant as this. Like I said, you can use fences, uh, you can just use strings, uh, you can cut down some trees and use those as posts rather than using pressure treated posts. However you need to do it, but the whole point is that you are moving from a dryer and using electricity to using something outdoors. And uh, there are pros and cons to this and I'm gonna explain those right now. So the pros to having a clothesline. Uh, probably the biggest pro to having a clothesline is you're saving money. Uh, and the second biggest pro to having a clothesline is the scent. There is nothing like the smell of fresh clothes out in the clothesline. Uh, everybody in the family loves it. It's something that brings me back to my childhood. I love crawling into sheets that are nice and fresh from being outdoors. It just smells wonderful. And then you don't have to worry about starching your clothes. Your clothes tend to be a little bit stiffer outdoors. That can be a pro or a con. Personally, I don't have any issues with it being scratchy on me. I prefer to have it a little bit stiffer, um, but just something to note, I put that under the pros though. As far as cons, well, number one is gonna be bugs. We live in an area with a lot of ticks. Ticks fall from the trees and tend to get on our clothes, so it's something you need to be careful of. Uh, you gotta watch your clothes, make sure they don't have ticks on them. Spiders as well tend to, will string up a web in between the clothes if you leave them out for several hours. Um, bird droppings, you got birds flying over top. Uh, yeah, every once in a while you can get bird droppings on your clothes. I think I've had it happen twice since I've been doing this um, that I can recall. Third con is um, pollen. If you live in an area of high pollen, which North Carolina I think is like the second highest pollen state uh, in the United States, uh, you, te you can get a lot of yellow pollen on your clothes. So uh, during that week or two weeks or however long you have pollen, you can either shake off your clothes or just throw them in the dryer at that point. So when do we hang out our clothes? All year long. Uh, you can hang out your clothes summer, spring, winter, and fall. And yes, I did say winter. We have hung our clothes out here when uh, there was snow on the ground. Like I said though, the biggest enemy is going to be precipitation. So if it's sleeting or if it's snowing, you got blizzard weather, you can't hang your clothes outside. But if it's one of those cool, clear, cold, clear days, maybe a little bit of breeze going, uh, you can hang your clothes out and uh, and they'll dry. Um, what usually happens though, is if it's really, really cold, is your clothes will freeze stiff and and then they'll start to loosen up as, as they start to dry. Now, they tend to not get 100% dry when you hang them out in the winter and they tend to take all day when you do that. Um, they're gonna be a little bit damp or moist as my kids like to say when you bring them back inside. Um, but it does work and we do do it. Um, if you obviously have a wood burning fireplace or furnace or something like that where you can string up clothes in front of it indoors, uh, that's the better option. Uh, our wood burning um, stove doesn't put out enough heat to do that so that's why we do outside. But uh, windy days are awesome. You just gotta be careful your clothes don't blow away. Pin them down really good. And dry, clear days are awesome. Uh, sunny days are awesome. Um, but yeah, pretty much any time of year you can do it. And it will save you money. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys. Uh, if you guys dry your clothes and have any tips or tricks, leave them down below. We're by no means the expert. Just passing along what we do. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave those below. We'll try and answer them as best we can. And if you guys found this stuff useful, like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Chuk, chuk. No beans. <laughs>